This is the nine stages of mood. We're only gonna walk through five here today. Now, the important thing to understand is you can control the triggers, and when you do, you can control your life, your hormones. Now, there's many different things that can trigger, but we only re really need to understand four of them. Now, pheromones, that's our hormonal system driving that action, pheromones. So on top of the screen there in highlighted yellow, they got two groups of people and they tested, tested these two groups against another group of people who were hooked up to a fancy brain imaging scanner, an fMRI. So that's a study there on screen. Now what they wanted to test out was, is there any difference between stress hormones from exercise and stress hormones from being anxious or fearful? So that's, that, was what, that was the whole point of the test. So they got sweat from people who were exercising and they got sweat from people who were anxious or angry. Now, they, put, they gave the sweat samples, gross as that is, to the people that were hooked up with the brain imaging. And what they found was profound. The exercising group elicited you know, a pretty normal response. Now, the fearful group, the anxious group, the angry group, it lit up a brain region called the amygdala the fear center. So what is, so if that was you and you're in front of somebody who is leeching stress pheromones, you're going to be going, you just get a weird vibe from that person, you know, it's just like, a, I'm getting a weird vibe from this person. So is, is that fair? Like this person could be doing a presentation, just really terrified about the presentation. So in my way of thinking, we have to give people the benefit of the doubt. They might be stressed out. They could have heard some bad news. So pheromones, you know, you can get a bad vibe from somebody. But what I found also, if it's anxious, the person that's in front of you will perceive you as being weak and not push you around because I suffered from anxiety. I know all too well how that feels. But what's also interesting, I read in a book called Professor, Professor Sapolsky in one of his books, it was called Behave. I also read that if you've got high optimal levels of testosterone if you're a man we women are much more attracted to men with high testosterone you might be thinking well, why is that why the hell is that because you got more swimmers you got an evolutionary advantage to produce an offspring that's just what evolution does that's what these scientists have found and the same is true for men when women go through the 28 day cycle at about day 14 their estrogen peaks and men are like, holy shit, it's date night, right? So this is when the, the egg is about to pop and drop and this is a perfect time to procreate. So we are driven hormonally. Hormones drive everything. Weight loss, how we feel, the energy that we produce, everything. So when you can control these triggers, you can control your hormones. Now, if you don't control your hormones, and it doesn't matter what, you know, what triggers the stress effect, your biochemistry changes. You can see on screen here, this is, this is what our body looks like when we're anxious. These are the, the hormones coursing through our veins. Anxiety and love, that's the comparison. So it goes to neurotransmitters. So our brain starts the engine, of, the engine running. They turn into neuropeptides in the bloodstream. The neuropeptides bind to glands, hormonal glands around the body and produce hormones and three minutes later, boom, there you go. So our biochemistry changes. This is at level two. Now level three is energy and motion. This is, this is emotion. This is the, the shift in energy. Now if it's shifting towards anxiety and anger, that's not a good thing because you're producing these pheromones. So you can't hide that. The other person's gonna, I'm getting a bad vibe from this person. So as, as hard as you try and pull down on the lever of the law of attraction, it ain't going to work because your energy is different than what, than what you truly want in that moment. So your hormones in that light really do control what you get out of life, what the, attraction, the, you know, the energy we put out 
we get back, we can't stop this. So we have to control these triggers in our biochemistry and our hormones and master our hormones. So level four, as you can see, energy and motion, this changes how we feel. If we feel anxious, level five changes how we think. What we think we become. And yeah, there are nine levels, but we don't need to go into that. So my job is to get you on this side of the track. So when the system is hot, you know, we're not stressed out. We are performing, kicking ass, our endocrine system, our hormones are a pop and we feel passion, courage, determination. And when the system cools off, we're content. We feel appreciation for life. We're happy and we're curious. We don't want to be over here. And as you can see, this, this study was done by the Heart, Heart Math Institute. So when we feel like appreciation, we're very coherent. Our hormones are very coherent. But when we're frustrated or we're you know, bored or we have apathy or fear or anger or anxiety, it's just all over the place. We feel like shit. So you might be thinking, what are some of the triggers? Well, right there on screen, inflammation and stress. Now, I'm not going to drive too, 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 too much into detail about this now. I've got another video about that. And there should be information below about where to go and access that video. But if you just go down a little bit further, the inflammatory, scientists call this the inflammatory bias. So we're making chemicals, right? They're called cytokines. And these inflammatory cytokines they cross the blood-brain barrier, you can see here, they switch on behavioral programs, we change. So it switches neural circuits in the brain, as you can see here in this research paper. Inflammatory pathways and neural circuits in the brain. So they're actually going around and switching off the human brain. So the more these inflammatory cytokines switch off the circuits in the human brain, the darker we feel. Does that make sense? So we pay more attention to negative thought when we have inflammation. And this chemical here called PFOA produces inflammation in your liver and oxidative stress and inflammation in your airways. And you don't feel this, right? It's just producing these little cytokines that go and cross the blood-brain barrier. They you know, start making you feel a little bit shitter, you know, a little bit more stressed. And this fry pan contains PFOA. Now, I, find, I found it quite funny that this post here I found on Instagram, and it says reduce inflammation. But what they were cooking on, because they didn't know, and I didn't know until about six months ago about this either, what they didn't know is that cooking it on here causes stress and inflammation in the endoplasmic reticulum, in the liver, and also oxidative stress in the liver in, in, in the airway. So we don't, again, we don't feel this. The older we get, the worse it becomes. And if you've got crap genetics like mine, then you're going to feel it as anxiety. You're going to feel it as low energy. And you might think, oh, I need a coffee. I need a, I need a biscuit. I need a snack or some shit. This is what's going on inside your body. So how do you fix that? Again, there should be information below about uh, the next video in this, this series. This is the Mark Iron Method, and there's only three steps that you need to take. And this is just showing you that your personality really isn't your personality when you don't control the triggers. Because if... These things are changing how you feel and how you think and what you think you become. Do you think, do you think that if you control the triggers, you can produce more performance hormones like testosterone, DHEA, feel-good hormones? Well, of course you can. Now, is that going to change how you feel, the energy that you put out and what you achieve in life? Of course it is. So what we have to do is control these triggers. And if you want to learn how to control these triggers, Information is below. It's called the Mark Eye Method, and there is only three steps, just three steps. So there it is. I hope you found this this helpful, and if you have, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, see you on the next next uh, episode of the Mark Eye Method.